during the siege on Port Hudson was the longest battle fought on American soil back in 1863. Every year there is an annual reenactment to really uh, remind us all about this historic event and the role that Louisiana played. Joining us this morning to talk about this year's reenactment, we have Mr. Daniel Goyer as well as Marvin Steinbeck. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Y'all look great. Thank Getting ready for this weekend's reenactment. So for folks at home who may not be familiar with the siege on Port Hudson, just kind of give us a little filler, some context on what we're talking about here. Okay, well, we're recreating the 156th anniversary of the actual Battle of Port Hudson. Uh, what basically happened is you had 30,000 Union troops attack the town of Port Hudson, the community of Port Hudson, uh, attacking from New Orleans. What eventually happens is a 49-day siege, and in that process of the 30,000 Union troops, uh, they were attacking against a position of about 7,000 Confederates. On July 9th of 1863, uh, when the battle comes to an end, Vicksburg, Mississippi had fallen. Uh, Port Hudson had surrendered at that point, and in the process of that entire battle that took place over those seven or eight weeks, over 6,600 men died in that battle, including soldiers from both sides. Yeah, and we're looking at some video right now from past reenactments. This is something that happens every year there in Port Hudson. It's pretty cool to think that this is something that was so historic and it happened just 13 miles right outside of Baton Rouge, right? You're saying Port Hudson, 13 miles north of Baton Rouge in today's, uh, in today's geographic region, I guess you would say. But this right. battle was also historic in the fact that it featured, for the first time, some African Americans in the fight as well. That's right. Right, yeah, the story behind the African Americans was originally they were the 1st and 3rd Louisiana Native Guard. Uh, they were originally recruited in the New Orleans area in 1862, and during the time of this battle with the Louisiana Native Guard, this is the first time in American military history where African American troops are recognized by the United States Army as being Army regular troops. Hmm. And so all of this is going to be celebrated and reenacted this weekend, uh, the 30th and 31st there at Port Hudson. Give folks some details about uh, when and where and if they want to be involved in coming out and seeing what you guys do out there this weekend. Sure, the actual program, the park opens at 9 o'clock, we close at 5 o'clock. On Saturday afternoon, the actual battle, what we call the Battle of Plain Store, takes place at one, uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And on Sunday at 1.30, we recreate the actual Battle of Port Hudson. Great. And can you give us a little rundown of uh, the get-up that we have this morning? Yeah. When, uh, this morning, I'm wearing a Confederate artilleryman's okay. uh, uniform. And I'm dressed as a Union infantryman. And this is uh, obviously... Uh, pretty timely as well. Y'all have done a lot of research to make sure that the reenactments that you're doing really do uh, reflect the actual battle. They say 156 year anniversary this year of the Battle of Port Hudson. All right, the reenactment happening this weekend at Port Hudson. We're going to have all of the details that you need to know if you'd like to go out and be a part of this historic reenactment on our website, brproud.com.